Within the animation wizard, I can also automatically generate explode and collapse animations. Now, in order to generate this, I will need to tell SOLIDWORKS how I'd like my assembly to explode or collapse. So to do this, I'll need to generate an explode view within SOLIDWORKS. So if you're a SOLIDWORKS designer, you'll probably already be familiar with this process. Or if you're just the animation designer, perhaps you could ask your SOLIDWORKS users to generate these explode views for you. However, it is a simple process, which I can go through here quickly as well. So to generate an explode view, I'll just want to browse to my assembly tab and look for explode view over here. You just click on explode view and that will jump me into my explode command. And from here, it's quite simple. It's really just click and drag any of the components as you'd like to explode them. So I'll do a very simple explode here. Just grab this clip. So I'm just gonna click onto that clip. And notice I have the triad automatically pop up. So now I can drag in the X, Y, or Z direction. So for example, I can explode this clip out in the Z direction. And that creates an explode step here. So that would be the first step of my explode animation once I run through the animation wizard. And it follows the steps in order of how I'm creating this explode view. So maybe next I want to click on my gear and explode that out in the same Z direction. And then maybe I'll just grab a, a few of the nuts here. And I can actually explode multiple components at once. So I can grab one, two, three nuts here and explode in the opposite Z direction there. And maybe I'll just leave it like this for now. Nice and simple, just a three step explode view here. And so when I create my animation, it should follow that exact same step. So first my ring should come off, then my gear should come off, then my three nuts should come off. Okay. So once I'm happy with that, I can just hit the green check to finish off that explode. Okay. And now that I have this view created within SOLIDWORKS, I can use it in that animation wizard. So I'll go back down into my motion manager and back into my animation wizard here. And now notice I have the rotate model available that I just used. I also now have explode and collapse. So I can click on explode there and click next. And again, very similarly, just give the duration and the start time. So again, I'm gonna start at zero seconds. Maybe I'll say my whole explode. I want to be about six seconds long. And that's all there is to it, just hit finish. Now we can see we have my full animation automatically being generated here. But essentially all it is, is from zero to two seconds, that ring will be exploding. From two to four seconds, that gear will be exploding. And then from four to six seconds, I have my nuts exploding. So let's play through or calculate this first and take a look. So here we can see again, fairly simple animation, but it was really automatically created for me just based on that explode view. All it was was a click of a button and you could have very, very complex explode animations automatically generated for you just from an explode view.